Dr. Stacy Sims, one of the world's leading exercise physiologists, just dropped a bombshell that's turning the fitness world upside down. After studying thousands of women, she discovered that everything we've been told about exercise after 40 is wrong. The 10 to 12 rep ranges, they stop working. Zone two cardio, less effective for women than men. Even eating less and moving more, it's actually making things worse. Dr. Sims' research reveals that women over 40 need a completely different approach, one that works with your changing hormones, not against them. She's identified two specific protocols that can reverse what most women think is inevitable hormonal aging. I'm about to break down her exact two protocol system that's helping thousands of women reclaim their strength, energy, and body composition after 40. This isn't opinion. This is peer-reviewed science that changes everything. This isn't about doing more cardio or eating less. It's about understanding what your body actually needs after 40. As we start to get into our mid-30s and onward, we start to have changes in our estrogen progesterone mm -hmm. and it doesn't quite work for us. Okay. Because now we need to find an external stress that's going to create the same responses that those hormones used to support. By the end of this video, you'll understand exactly why your current routine isn't working and have Dr. Sims's research-backed action plan that takes less time but delivers dramatically better results. Protocol number one, the power revolution. Here's what nobody tells you about turning 40 as a woman. Your body literally changes the rules of the game. Dr. Stacy Sims, one of the world's leading experts on female physiology, discovered something shocking. When women hit their late 30s and 40s, the 10 to 12 rep ranges that worked in their 20s suddenly stop working. Why? Because estrogen and progesterone, your muscle building hormones, start declining. Without these hormones supporting your muscle contractions, you need a completely different stimulus. And this is where most women make their biggest mistake. They keep doing what used to work, wondering why their bodies aren't responding. Meanwhile, their 20-something daughters are getting results doing the exact same workouts. The solution, power-based training. Instead of 10 to 12 reps, you need zero to six reps with heavy weights. So when you're doing the higher reps, it's more of what we call metabolic stress. So that's more like muscle contraction using fuel. Yeah. But it's not an impetus to build lean mass or to become stronger. Here's how to find your weight. Pick up the dumbbell you normally use for shoulder presses. Can you do 10 to 12 reps easily? Put it down, pick up the next weight up. Can you still do 10? Put it down again. Your target weight is the one where you can do six good reps with two more left in the tank. This isn't about getting bulky. That's nearly impossible for women without specific genetic predispositions. This is about creating the external stress your body needs to maintain the strength and power that your hormones use to support naturally. Power-based training triggers your central nervous system to produce more acetylcholine, the neurotransmitter that helps your nerves communicate with your muscles. It also forces your muscle proteins to bond more strongly, giving you back the strength and power you thought you'd lost forever. But here's the thing, strength training alone isn't enough to address what's happening metabolically. Protocol number two, the metabolic reset. This second protocol is controversial because it goes against everything you've been told about cardio. You've probably heard about zone two training, that steady state cardio where you can hold a conversation. Every longevity expert is talking about it. But here's what they're not telling you. Zone two training was researched primarily on men. Women are born with something men aren't. Superior mitochondrial health and metabolic flexibility. Dr. Sims puts it perfectly. If you wanna become more like a woman, men need to do zone two. Women are already there. So zone two was born out of the idea that we need to improve our endurant fibers and our ability to increase our aerobic capacity or free fatty acid use because they're looking at male physiology. So when we bring it down to women, having to spend all this time to develop something they already are born with, it doesn't make a lot of sense to sp So what do women over 40 need instead? Sprint interval training, but not the way you think. This isn't about running sprints. It's about 30 seconds of maximum effort, followed by two to three minutes of complete recovery. You can do this on a bike, with kettlebell swings, battle ropes, or even running upstairs. Here's why this works. When you hit that maximum effort for 30 seconds, your body produces something called GLUT4 proteins. Think of insulin as a rusty key trying to open your cells to let glucose in. GLUT4 proteins are like secret passageways that bypass insulin resistance entirely. But there's more. 
Those 30-second efforts also trigger myokines, hormones released from your muscles that tell your liver, don't store these fatty acids as belly fat. We need them for fuel. Sprint intervals create lasting changes in your muscle cells, improving glucose control, reducing visceral fat storage, and enhancing how efficiently your body uses fat for fuel. All the functions your declining hormones once managed automatically. Now, you might be thinking this sounds too intense, but here's the beautiful part. Most women think they need to spend hours in the gym to see results. The opposite is true. A proper strength training session takes 20 minutes maximum. A sprint interval session, maybe 10 minutes total, including warm up and cool down. Compare that to the 60 to 90 minutes of zone two cardio that's being recommended everywhere, or those 45 minute boot camp classes that leave you exhausted, but don't create the specific adaptations your changing body needs. Dr. Sims has women who get up at 5 a.m., do 10 minutes of high intensity kettlebell work, and see better body composition changes than women spending an hour on the treadmill. The science behind why this works. Here's what's really happening in your body after 40. Your muscle proteins, myosin and actin, start losing their grip on each other. That's why you can't open pickle jars like you used to. Heavy lifting forces these proteins to bond more strongly. Your acetylcholine storage decreases. This neurotransmitter helps your nerves talk to your muscles. Power-based training signals your body to produce more. Your gut microbiome shifts toward bacteria that promote fat storage. Both protocols help restore the diversity that supports a leaner body composition. But here's what most people get wrong when they try to implement this. The common mistakes. Mistake number one, jumping in too fast. If you've never lifted heavy, don't start with your maximum weight on day one. It takes six to eight months to build up safely. Mistake number two, confusing boot camp classes with sprint intervals. Those 45 minute high intensity classes keep you in the gray zone. Too easy to be hard, too hard to be easy. You get the stress without the recovery benefits. And what happens with moderate intensity is it increases cortisol. Now some cortisol is good, but when we're in perimenopause, we are already in a very, what we call sympathetically driven state. So that means we're tired but wired. Our baseline cortisol is elevated. And when our baseline our cortisol is elevated, we have a stimulus to put on fat, keep residual inflammation, bloating, can't sleep, can't come down, can't relax. Mistake number three, doing this when you're already overstressed. If you're chronically stressed, start with the strength training first. Add sprint intervals once your nervous system can handle it. Your action plan. Start with this simple progression. Week one to two, learn proper movement patterns with body weight or light weights. Week three to four, add load, aiming for eight to 10 reps. Week five to eight, progress to six to eight reps with heavier weight. Week nine and further, true power-based training, three to six reps. For sprint intervals, Start with one 20 second effort with three minutes recovery. Build to three to four intervals over six weeks. This isn't just about looking better in your jeans, though you will. This is about being the 80 year old who's still carrying her own groceries, playing with her grandchildren and living independently. As Dr. Sims says, be the oldest person in the gym, not the youngest person in the nursing home. Dr. Stacy Sims' groundbreaking research has given us the roadmap that thousands of women have been desperately searching for. Her two protocols aren't just theory. They're backed by peer-reviewed science and real-world results from women just like you. The evidence is clear. Power-based strength training and sprint interval training work with your changing physiology, not against it. Less time than you're probably spending now, but infinitely more effective because it's based on how your body actually functions after 40. This isn't about following another fitness trend. This is about implementing scientifically proven protocols that address the specific hormonal and metabolic changes happening in your body right now. If this research-based approach resonates with you, hit that like button and subscribe for more science-backed strategies. Remember, Dr. Sim's research proves your body isn't broken. It's just operating under different physiological rules now. Once you understand the science, you can work with your biology instead of fighting against it.